So in today's video, we're gonna do our first ketchup cook. So we got our asparagus. Wow, red potatoes. Mmm, dude, that is so good. Got one. So this is going to be our catch and cook fish. All right, guys. I mean, what do you think? That's not too bad for the first catch and cook. All right. So guys, we are in Walmart right now, and we are going to do our first catch and cook ever on the channel. And I don't do much cooking, so. You guys are gonna have to bear with me. I think that we're gonna come in here and get some green beans, right? Some green, green beans. Yeah. With green beans. Yep. We need a starch. We don't need a starch, but we're gonna go with a starch. I'm thinking uh, some maybe some small little red potatoes. What about some sweet potato? I just think that that's kind of like baiting a big person up. Like they call it a sweet potato, and sure it's a little sweet, but everybody knows they want the white potatoes. So I'm thinking some little little. Uh, what am I thinking? Am I thinking about the red potatoes? Is that what I'm thinking about? No, they're like baby potatoes. As you can tell, guys, we are very inexperienced when it comes to catching cooks. We may be inexperienced with catching, but we, yeah. we're more experienced with the cooking. No, we're more experienced <laughs> with the catching. I'm not experienced with the cooking. As far as I know, nobody's done a catching cook in the microwave, so we're not gonna go that route. We're probably gonna get some kind of frying pan or something. Either way, guys, we're going for either a crappy, a big brim, or a small bass. And either way, if you're doing that, the best bait in the store to go after that fish is this right here. None other than the rooster tail. Guys, if you've never thrown a rooster tail, then you've never caught 100 fish in a day because this is the way to do it. If you want to catch every fish in the pond, just not the big ones, this is the one to go for. For this challenge, that's what we're going for. Not to mention the fact that we're going to have to be a little budget friendly because we're budgetly challenged at the moment. If you don't mind, hit like and subscribe and tell all your friends. Maybe we'll do an extravagant catch and cook one day. As of now, we're keeping it budget friendly. So honestly, I think this is all we need. We need this. So AO gave us a awesome, awesome Guggen reel. Perfect size for this. It's the 1000 series, which is what you want for throwing these small baits, catching these smaller fish. We gotta find a rod though. Since we already have the reel, I feel like we can find a rod for a decent price. If you haven't seen the video of AO giving us the Guggen Reel 1000 series, go back and check it out, it's on the channel. It is the AO Fishing Tackle Box Aquarium video. Be sure and check that out, guys. Big shout out to AO for giving us the reel, but we've gotta find a rod to put it on. Everything's a combo already that I'm seeing, and I don't wanna buy a combo, and we already have the reel, and the reel's nice, so, so we've gotta find a rod. So, so Smalls, I got an idea. Okay. So, you know, you know what water. that? No. I thought you were gonna make a deal. <laughs> if I catch one on this, you'll get in the water. Sorry, too early. <laughs> too early for that. So what I say is, is you know what people that are on a budget usually do? They go look in the clearance section. Okay, but well where's the, where's the clearance? They've got to have some clearance stuff. $9.99, I mean, that's budget friendly. And I mean, I like it. So right now we have our budget friendly rod, 10 bucks, and a $2, okay, let's be real, it's like $2.89, so a $3 rooster tail. But this is gonna catch me. We already have a reel for this. All right, so we're on the camping aisle at Walmart, and that's where we're gonna find most everything we need for a catch and cook. The only thing, I have a cast iron skillet at the house, and I mean, if it's a budget challenge, you might as well use what you already got, right? So, no sense in buying a cast iron skillet. We've already got one. And I mean, I'm thinking a cast iron skillet's all we're gonna need, right? Like most catch and cooks, you just cook in a cast iron skillet over a fire, and that'll be it. So really all we need is our sides. Yeah, so we're not getting the pan. We've got the rod, we've got the bait, we have the reel, we have the line, we have the pan, we need our sides. I want some sides. Let's go get the sides. Guys, so I'm very excited. There's not many people out here to watch me buy the wrong ingredients for a kitchen cooker. Either way, we've got to find some green beans and some potatoes. Pop tarts. Hey, I've heard hey, uh, you. Come on. <laughs> Hey, in really? all seriousness, do we need any uh, seasonings, you think? So we don't want unseasoned fish, right? I mean, do you, do you think we need some seasonings? I think some good lemon and some salt. I don't think you overdo it. I think Lemons I think... and salt? 
<laughs> dying, bro, after they had some unseasoned fish. Oh. I'm just not a fan of lemon, like lemon pepper wings. I don't like lemonade. If it's got a lot of sugar in it, I like it. Lemon sours, I'm not a fan of. Lemon drops. Lemon sours are nasty, bro. Lemon sours are terrible. They have no sugar. All right, look, we got seasons at the house, right? Yeah, I think we got some. Okay. Yeah. This is budget chat. So literally, all we need to find is small, I don't know, red potatoes or just some small potatoes and green beans. They just ain't fine today. Ruby Sensation Bite Size Potatoes. To the left, to the left. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't like green beans like this. Like my wife will tell you, I don't like these kind of green beans. Yeah, we don't want asparagus. You know what? We could do we could do some asparagus. Asparagus other than green beans. I'm 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 good with some asparagus. Is this gonna be okay, asparagus over green beans? Yeah, I think I think it's I think it'll be fine. Alright, so we got our asparagus, red potatoes, we got our bait, we got our rod, we got a reel, got a frying pan at the house. Let's go do it. So in today's video, we're gonna do our first catch and cook. We've got the 1000 series reel, courtesy of my good buddy AO. We've got our magic. And that is the magic, guys. If you don't know anything about a rooster tail, it's the best thing in the world as far as just catching a fish. Maybe not catching a giant fish, but catching a fish, especially a good size eating fish, and it'll catch anything. You can catch a crappy, you can catch a catfish, you can catch a bass. Cameraman Chris, please edit me out saying catfish because I've never caught a catfish on this. That's kind of funny, you can leave it in now. Anyway, you can catch a bunch of fish on this, and there's a bunch of fish in this pond. We've got brim, bass, and crappie. Hoping that we get to catch a crappie, like I would really like to have like a slab that we could take home and fillet up and have for the catch and cook. But if we don't, we'll at least catch some small bass and we'll use a bass for the catch and cook. Regardless, this pond's looking nice. There's some big ones in here. So we're at the same pond that we filmed the first video. And in the first video, I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but I caught a big one, like a real big one. I don't know if you saw the other video, but I also brought the beaver bait. As I'm saying beaver bait, cameraman Chris is making a face right now because I don't know if you know there's not the beaver bait. Cameraman Chris bet against the beaver bait. Let's just say he got wet. Either way, we have some awesome baits out here today and I'm thinking that we're going to catch some fish. So without further ado, let's get it. All right guys, so we're headed down to the pond and I want to be kind of quiet because I know that there's some giants in this pond and there's a laid down tree right here in the water. I feel like there may be a big one over it. And if there is, I don't know if you guys see that beaver bait right there. Wow, it'll catch him. All right guys, so first couple casts with the Berkeley beaver. Very excited. Alright guys, so no fish right here on the tree, but I haven't lost confidence in this bait. There's a big one in here, this is what he's going to eat, and it's early in the morning. I know these fish are eating right now, so I'm thinking we can catch one. If we're going to catch a five pounder, this is the way to do it. Stick with us. Alright guys, so we got our brand new combo. Should I leave the $9.99 sticker on it? Leave it. It just shows how budget friendly we really are. <laughs> we got choice. And with that being said, if you guys would like and subscribe, that would be absolutely great. Did this thing cast pretty good for real? I like this rod and rail. <laughs> oh, squealer pants. All right, guys. So in a pond like this, this fish right here is in danger because there's a lot of fish in here that'll eat that fish. <laughs> Little baby. Come. Almost every time that I come out here, I see a lot of bluegill sitting right over here in this corner. That's the bluegill destroyer.
I mean, is that catching cook material? It's not a big one. I mean, I could fillet that bad boy up. I mean, that would be a nice little fillet, but it would be like a little bitty fillet. I don't want to cook him whole, so we're going to let this little guy go. He's the lucky one today. And that other one. I'm telling you guys, the rooster tail is the juice. The juice is where the fish are in the water. Like, whenever you have a really good spot. Like, dude, this lake right here is the juice. We're catching small ones right now, but there's some giants in here. And this right here, this is the juicer. Let me get this cast in though, because I should probably catch one right here. Oh, caught a log. Thought I had a fish, but I had a stick. You know what that is? Yep, a limb brim. Or fish stick. The Gordon's Fisherman. All I'm saying, bro, is we're putting the real thing to fish stick when we put that fish and we fillet it on that. Uh... <laughs> we're not doing it on a stick, Chris. All right, guys, so sometimes you just gotta take a break and let the cameraman fish. That's what we're doing right now. Cameraman Chris with his first grass bass. Smalls two, cameraman Chris one. So Chris, tell me how you feel being on the other side of the camera. It's a little nerve wracking. <laughs> <laughs> what I always do whenever I get nervous is Chris, I just go and then, yeah. then I'm good. So you wanna try that? Just, just. <laughs> All right, so don't you feel better? I feel like I, I feel some kind of way. Okay, I got you. You at I least feel you at least feel, you at least feel like you're so embarrassed now that nothing else matters. <laughs> Maybe that's my thing, guys. I have to act crazy so that I go ahead and get the embarrassment out of the way. But notice, oh, you got one. Oh, Cameron Chris has got one. Can he land him? Yes, sir. It is a dink day for sure, but fun nonetheless right heck yeah dude smalls ain't the only one catching small fish <laughs> dang homie <laughs> my dad was talking about me catching little fish yesterday I'm kidding, bro. so my little girl walked up to my dad and talking about fishing he asked her oh i got one he asked her he said what kind of fish are you gonna catch and she said i want to catch a small fish my dad was like oh you just like your daddy <laughs> like, come on dad just cause my dad's saying that I catch small fish don't mean he's lying. All right guys, so we have got to catch a decent sized fish for this catch and cook. So far we've only caught small ones. Let's see if we can't get something going right here. Got something. Another little baby. Still no crappie or crappy. Guys, let me know in the comments. What do you call it? Crappy or crappie? I'm about to catch one right here. I just have one strike right there. Oh, got him. I got another little squealer on, I think. I don't think he's big. Oh, he's not a bass. The brim. Oh, get your butt back over here. I lost him. <laughs> what you laughing at over there? Ain't nothing funny. <laughs> oh, I lost a good size brim. Dang. Talk to me about it. There's nothing worse than getting a nice size fish hooked and get him to the bank. And lose him. Yeah. And he's gone. It is pretty bad. <laughs> Poof gone like a freight train okay so we got a little different species got a little brim okay i got something better on oh my goodness that's a good one come on baby that's catching cook material oh i gotta land this fish oh dude I say it's catching cooked material. Look at this fish. Is it? Is this eating worthy fish? It's a slab for sure. It's definitely a fillet. All right, guys, we're gonna keep this fish for. Oh. Oh. That hurts. All right, I'm gonna go get some water in the bucket. So we have a catching cook candidate. 
got one. I don't know what it is. I hope it's a crappy. Oh, I think he come off. No, he didn't. Oh, it's a brim. Not big though. I don't want to. I can't fillet that. So, is it a brim or a sunfish? Or are they the same? I don't know. I don't think that's a copper nose bluegill. But it may be a copper nose bluegill. He really wanted in the bucket though. He did. He's getting the boot. Lucky fish. Lucky fish. I think we found our one for the kitchen cook. I don't even want to touch this fish to get him off. Like, do you see this? Oh, I thought that was our kitchen cook. No, sir. Good Lord, that thing was disgusting. If I get caught by that stupid beaver after I had to go in the water last video. Peace! I understand. So let's not catch okay. cameraman Chris with the beaver. All right, guys, we're going for it. So the beaver's not what they want, but I have some more secret sauce. All right, so AO's aquarium tank video, I told you guys that the best swim bait was a Gary Yamamoto swimming Zayco. And I'm gonna show you why right here, guys. But we're gonna do our test. Mmm, hmm. That thing will... Booty shaker. Uh oh, there's a fish right here. Come on, baby, bite it. Got one. It's a big one. Come on, baby. Ah, uh. <laughs> yes, sir, baby. It's not as big as I thought it was, but it's definitely, definitely a better fish. I think that's too big for the catch and cook, though, right? I'd rather cook the other one than that one. I don't want to take this one out. That's a good one, man. I'm telling you guys, the chatterbait is good. The chatterbait is an awesome bait, but that Zayco on the back, that's what gets them. I mean, dude, that thing comes through the water so pretty. And you can come up with these. Get a little release on this girl. Pretty, pretty fish. Thanks for playing. Got one. Feels like a better fish. Maybe wrong. That is him. That's the one. So this is going to be our catch and cook fish for sure. Let's go see if we can get this other guy back in the water. So this guy right here, I just felt like was a little big and unhealthy. So I, that's the one I want. Let's let this bigger one go. Yes, sir. What's up folks? So we have made it to my house. We are in the woods and we are about to do our catch and cook. So I've got a little spot picked out. Got a nice little seat right here. Huh? Got your fire right here. Maybe some center blocks. Sit down, cook, shoot the bull. No animal cruelty though. Just talking about talking. Regardless guys, I'm gonna have a little fire right here. I'm gonna have a little lunch after a nice day of fishing. Hope you guys enjoyed that footage. We caught a ton of little fish, but I'm known for catching little fish, so that's just kind of how it goes. Hey, by the way, if y'all don't mind, please hit like, subscribe, and share. All right, for those of you who don't know, this right here is, some people call it fat lighter, some people call it lightered, some people call it fire starter, some people call it kindling. Regardless, all this is, is a dead pine tree that has been dead forever. And all of the sap in this tree has settled all the way down to the bottom of it. And over time it becomes hard and it's got all that sap in it that is very, very, very flammable. So check this out, guys. The main thing you want when you're lighting this stuff is some little pieces to light up first. As soon as they hit it, it's going. Crazy, crazy stuff, guys. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you've got to survive, you need to find some of this stuff to help you make some fires because it definitely helps. All right, guys, so we are very close to getting this thing going. This stuff ignites so quickly and it will burn you up. You 
give that a minute before we put anything on it. You don't want to smother your fire, guys. It'll go out. So I really enjoy making a fire outside, like when it's cold outside. All right, guys, so we've got a lot of wind going on. I'm going to take a rake and get a lot of this pine straw and leaves out of the way. You know, just ensure that we don't burn the place down. Because at the end of the day, only you can prevent forest fires. So guys, our fire has taken a tumble. And I'm having to bring it back from the bed right now. When I start building the fire, I get very, very concentrated on building the fire. And as you can tell, we're we're having a slight <laughs> struggle right now. I would say we're riding the struggle bus. We might even be driving the struggle bus right now. But regardless, this fire will start. We've got a bunch of wind, and your wind is your friend when you're starting a fire. So we're going to get going. I see flames, and there's a bunch of dry wood on top of it. On top of a wet ground. On top of a wet ground. But right now, think about all that heat drying that ground out. Is that not how it goes? I don't know. We're gonna hope. Huh? Hey, grab your boot out of the way. <laughs> Alright guys, so I've only grabbed a little bit of dry wood from my mom and dad's house. Spoiler alert, I didn't start with wet wood out here in the woods. It's been raining here for quite a few days. We just had a hurricane come through the south, so we've been getting a lot of, uh, a lot of rain from that. Either way, there's a ton of wood out here and it's all wet. But if you want to add to a fire like this, like what I want to do right now is add wood to it and I only have wet wood to use. If you're gonna do that and you're out here in the woods, don't grab anything that's laying on the ground. Stuff that's in the air is gonna be dry. So, hear that? That's what we want. Any of this stuff that's up off the ground is gonna be stuff to use. All that is dry. This is going to burn up good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're getting this thing rolling now. So I think that we've got a very, very, very good fire going as far as being able to cook over it. It's going to be a little bit windy, guys. I'm sorry about the wind. How much we can do about that all right guys so we're gonna leave this fire right now may rake up a little bit more around it but we have got to go clean a fish for a catching all right guys so we have our catching cook meat portion oh my gosh oh Gosh, that is. So guys, we're getting our meat cleaned up. Highly recommended. All right guys, so we are done. We have our nice, nice, nice bass fillets. Come check them out. Oh, Burke, what's up big dog? It's my baby boy. Get you away from that. Come over here. Come tell everybody, hey. Look at the camera. Say, hey, everybody. Burke is seven years old. His name is Berkeley, named after a bait company, because I love to fish. He's a good dog. This dog goes fishing with me all the time. If you guys want to see me take Berkeley fishing, let me know that in the comments, right after you like and subscribe and share. So we've got our nice bass fillets, guys. If you want to come back whenever you're done, I'm going to show you guys this. You want to come back and take this rib cage out. Just like so. All right, guys. Just like that. We got it. Two perfect bass fillets ready to be cooked with some nice scarlet red potatoes and some vibrant bright green asparagus shoots. So I do have a question for you, Smalls. 
So I was thinking about it. How terrible would it have been if, with you holding those out on your hands, if Berkeley would have just come and snatched both <laughs> of the fleas out? I bet once we cook it, he'll want a bite. We'll give Berkeley a bite after after he after we cook. I'm just saying, what? If he'd done that, I've been pissed <laughs> off. Either way, guys, we don't have to worry about a kitchen feed. We got our nice bass fillets. We're gonna go get them soaking in some water. All right, y'all. So we have set up some bricks. That's the only way that I can figure out that we're gonna be able to get this cast iron skillet on top of it and get it hot like we need it to be. So I think that we're pretty close. It's about time to start cutting some veggies. We've already cut some fish. I'm also getting a little hungry. Cameraman Chris didn't bring any food again. In fact, I had to hook Cameraman Chris up with Pop-Tart. Is that payment enough? I, I appreciate it, bro. <laughs> and we got something to show, uh, show the camera in a little bit. Oh, that's right. We do have a little surprise to show the camera. Courtesy of my man, Cameraman Chris. So guess what? I did bring food. You did bring food. You did bring food. I'm wrong on this. Either way, guys, we got our bricks set up. I think that our pan's going to sit perfectly over the top of them. We're about to get our grub on. Let's go get our veggies. All right, guys, so we have a fire going. We've got our block set up. We've got our pan on it getting hot. We're about to grease the pan. Alright guys, so we have our asparagus, we're getting ready to cut these dudes, so whenever you cut asparagus, just treat it like it's me on a diet, you're getting rid of the thick part. Cut it at a small angle, let all those fall at your feet into the fire. I have deer, so it's no deer. Alright guys, so we've got our asparagus, we're going to go ahead and throw them in, let them start cooking. All right, a little salt, a little pepper. All right, guys, so we're ready to take our asparagus off. Oh, they look so good. All right, guys, so we have pulled our asparagus off. Time to cook some potatoes. All right, guys, so we have got our asparagus cooked. Time to cook some Ruby Sensation bite-sized potatoes. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and cut these potatoes into quarters. like so. All right, so guys, we're about to add some butter to our pan, because you can look at me and tell that I like butter. Very hot. So we're gonna hit these potatoes with a little salt, a little pepper, and we're gonna take it very easy on the herbs. How about some organic great value herbs de Provence? What does that mean, cameraman Chris? You wanna elaborate for the people? I'm gonna I'll be say honest. It again. Herbs de Provence. I would say they prevent. They don't prevent. Hey. They prevent bad flavor. That's why I got you. That's why you got me. Together, we got all the herbs and spices. We got some taters. Cooking up nicely, I might add. Nicely. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna be honest with you. The smell of this right here is making me extremely hungry. This smells awesome. A little catch and cook outside. I might start doing this from here on. 
All right, guys, so we are ready to pull our Ruby Sensation potatoes. Hey, guys, the reason I'm going so fast is because that was hot. <laughs> good. We're good. All right, guys, so we have our herbs, or herbs, however you want to say it. Regardless, they look amazing. We're gonna do this without chopping our fingers off, hopefully. Herbs and herbs are all diced up. Whenever you're done, you wanna take those and What now? Hello? <laughs> So, little limon. I'm gonna take this limon. It's amazing how that just come randomly out the air, didn't it? And I saw it. Oh, crazy. But regardless, all right, guys. So we have our limon. All right, guys. So we have our lemons. Play with food. Either way, let's get this done. We're getting very close, guys. So we're going to grab fish, and we will be done. So we are ready. I've got my butter. We're about to go ahead and cook our fish. Uh, you always want to do it this way, guys. Whenever you put your butter in the pan, you want to do it this way because you're getting the wax on. And as soon as you're done with that, of course, you know, wax off and wax on. Last step, wipe this off. And you're good. Just like that. We're ready. So we have our pan hot and ready. I'm about to lay these fish in here. got our fish set to the side we're gonna add our herbs and lemon all right so we're gonna add our herbs to the butter all right and we are going to squeeze some lemon That looks so good. It's making me so hungry, I wanna eat it right now. But, we gotta wait. So we are done with our fish. Like so. Ta -da. All right guys, I mean, what do you think? That's not too bad for the first catch and cook. Put a lot of time and effort into this thing. Either way, guys, this looks awesome. I'm super excited about it. I'm actually kind of hungry. I feel like cameraman Chris is a little hungry. He's not really looking at the camera. He's looking at this plate right here. Regardless, we're about to dig in. Gosh, what did you do? Ah, ha, ha, I know where it's at. Guys, if you're a big guy, you never go anywhere without a fork. It's just a simple rule. All right, moment of truth. How did we do? What are we taking a bite of first? I'd say the asparagus first. I know you wanted that potato though. I did. But asparagus though? Oh, it's burning hot. Struggling. Wow, that's very good. I will say I'm a bigger fan of the tops of asparagus. Is everybody a bigger fan of that top bite? Or just me? I, I think I think I like the uh, I think I like the top better. You like too. the thin part? Yeah, I think I think that's my favorite. I think that's everybody's part. You like a thin tip, not a thick base. 
Got you. I'm with you. Same way with asparagus. That asparagus is good, dude. It's hot, though. I don't know why. It's very hot. All right, so this is what we've been wanting to try, guys. Look at that. Get a close-up of this white meat. Mmm, dude, that is so good for sure. I'm sweating because I'm right here by a fire. All right, guys, so it's hot over there by a the fire. This is also kind of hot, but man, can you see smoke coming out of my mouth? It burns. All right, so my favorite part them taters. Taters are good, bro. Come on, Chris. Get you by that. Come on, you can show you how it's good. Let's see. Two thumbs up. All right. That's a good. That's a good potato. Little bite of fish. We're not sharing forks today, and I'm gonna get one of. Yes, we are. <laughs> fish is very good, is it not? Holy cow. Fish is very good. Holy cow. Holy fish. I see what you did there. <laughs> Anyways. Guys, this is awesome. Little asparagus? So talk to the people. Tell us what you're thinking. So, I've never had bass. Ever. I've tried tilapia. I've had some other fish. Mahi. Tuna. That has to be some of the best fish I've ever That's had. awesome. Yeah, for sure. I've never done it over, that way. Over a fire? Yeah, over a legit fire. I mean, guys, this right here. What is the oven for today? Tip of the asparagus. Oh boy, stop. Oh, it's got that good. It did have a it, crunch to it. It's got a good crisp to it, man. That was really good. Give me some of that. Oh, uh, guys, we have done it. I mean, we have literally completed our first catch and cook ever on the channel. And wow, I mean, wow, it is awesome. Everything in that pan is absolutely amazing. Had a great time doing it. Don't go anywhere, guys. We've got a little surprise. Cameraman Chris actually had a surprise for me. Blew my mind. Uh, you're going to like it. Just stay tuned. Check this out. Next clip. All right, guys. So first off, huge shout out to the man behind the camera, Cameraman Chris. Surprised me with this and absolutely blew my mind. Awesome, awesome feeling, though, to open this and actually take it in and realize what has happened, guys. Without further ado. Appreciate you guys. 10,000 subs in a very, very short time. It's an awesome feeling. I couldn't have done it without a lot of people. Ayo, Norm, Cameraman Chris, you guys subscribing. Thank you so much. And please continue to tell your friends. Keep checking us out. Keep watching the videos, guys. We're having an awesome, awesome time doing this. It is my absolute dream job to be around filming, fishing, making content for you guys, getting you guys some laughable, watchable content. We love it. Either way, guys, we're about to cut this cake. Hit like, hit subscribe, share with your friends. Peace.